But the Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. Luke 10, verse 33. Last Sunday night, the young adults had the privilege of having Tim Garten, a resident of Ames and member of the Ames City Council, come and speak to the group. One of the things that he did was to walk the group through the story of the Good Samaritan. As I listened to his presentation, one of the aspects of the story that struck me was the willingness of the Good Samaritan to have his life inconvenienced. Think about it. He bandaged up the guy who had been mugged, then took him to an inn, then stayed overnight, and finally paid his bill and promised he would be back to take care of any other charges the man incurred. Why? It was out of compassion. When we are filled with compassion, when we are filled with the love of Christ, we are willing to be inconvenienced for the sake of others. Sometimes, people we don't even know. Perhaps you're at a place where you want to serve the Lord. You just don't want your life to be inconvenienced. It might be a helpful exercise to ponder just how much Jesus was inconvenienced for our sake. He humbled himself, took on flesh, came and lived among us, and ultimately gave his life for us. Now that is one big inconvenience. Our willingness to be inconvenienced starts with compassion, a genuine love for the people God has placed in front of us. Out of that place of compassion, we can ask the Lord to help us be open to inconveniences for His sake. Because of our sinful nature, we will miss seeing or acting on some of the opportunities that come our way. But by grace, every once in a while, we will get it right. And when we do, God is glorified, and a feller just never knows when it will have an eternal impact on the one we serve. Press on in the Lord.